We find ourselves in Eatonton, Georgia today, and what we're trying to do is take a look at what this thing is right here, this rock hawk. Really, it's just visible from the sky. I mean, how they even discovered it in the first place, I guess maybe it took an airplane to see it for the first time. Archaeologists have been here a few times over the years in 52, and it looks like 2004 they were here again, and uh, they're still kind of clueless as to what, what this thing is or, or why it was built or how it was built. And, there's some suggestions that maybe it was a grave site of a great warrior, and a legend has it that when other warriors would go by a fallen, like, great warrior, they would throw the rocks on top of his grave, and over time they accumulate. But, I mean, how it got to be in a hawk form or the one 13 miles from here, how it got to be in an eagle form is just mysteries that probably no one will ever be able to answer. To me, it seems like there's no question that Civilizations thrived in these North American woods, these Georgia woods, long before Creeks, long before Cherokees, long before Spanish, French, you name it. But uh, I mean, it's just like the evidence is just all around us. You know, but who were they? Were they the Mayans? Were they the Incas? I mean, there's uh, early accounts of a lot of this stuff, but nobody could really pinpoint exactly who, for instance, built this 2,000 year old effigy down here, this rock hawk.